morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Fireside Chapel at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock. This is Tuesday of the 14th of Ordinary Time, and our votive mass will be for evangelization of peoples. Let us stand as we begin in song with Psalm 84. Oh, how lovely is your dwelling place, dwelling of the Lord of hosts. How we long for your household, Lord, singing out a song of joy, oh, joy to the living God. Even sparrows find a home with you, and swallows lay their young to rest. Blessed are those who dwell in you, and sing your praise, O God. Oh, how lovely is your dwelling place, dwelling of the Lord of hosts. How we long for your house, O Lord, singing out a song of joy to the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we celebrate today the evangelization of peoples, we have a gospel to remind us that the harvest is great and the laborers are few. So we are called to be the harvesters, the harvesters that evangelize people and have them turn to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who sent your Son into the world as the true light, pour out, we pray, the Spirit he promised, to sow seeds of truth constantly in people's hearts, and to awaken in them obedience to the faith, so that being born to new life through baptism, all may become part of one people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the Word of God. Thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves, to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria, my wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all. Destined for the flames, such as the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. And even if it could, Strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasion of sin. Though I write for him many ordinances, they are considered as a stranger's. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh, and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins, they shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Thanks be to God. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their makers shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. from the ninth chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We turn to Psalm 115. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. May we say, my house, my home, trusts in the Lord. The house of St. Henry trusts in the Lord. The house of America trusts in the Lord. Wouldn't it be nice if that were all the case. And so Jesus approaches us today, wanting us to trust in him, just like the man who was possessed with a demon and was mute. He came to the Lord because people and he trusted in the Lord and brought him to Jesus. He immediately drove the demon out and the man spoke. That's what happens when you trust in the Lord. You speak. Ideally, you preach the gospel when you speak. And so Jesus today is simply telling us, with trust comes responsibility, and the responsibility is to spread the good news. The gospel said, People were troubled and abandoned. Maybe sometimes we feel like that. Sheep without a shepherd. And Jesus comes and cures every illness for those whose house trusts in the Lord. Today I hearken to the serenity prayer. As we call upon God, grant me the 
serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Early on when I heard that prayer, I was given a corollary, and that one rings in my mind, especially with Jesus' words of, you are the laborers, go out into the vineyard. The corollary reads, Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the person I cannot change. The courage to change the person I can and the wisdom to know that person is me. It rings home. So do we indeed consider ourselves a house that trusts in the Lord? And then we will know that we are then sent, sent to spread the good news. Once mute, we can now speak and declare the gospel, the good news. Let us stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. I pray for all of those who are troubled and abandoned, and I think today especially of so many that are in care facilities and senior centers that are not only restricted in their movement, but are isolated because they are restricted to few, if any, visitors. We pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray today for individuals in our parish family who suffer from very ill health. We remember Jean and Dale. And today we pray for Rod Spring, who will have open heart surgery tomorrow and will be anointed today. Uh, for all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pause a moment and add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. And we pray, Lord, for serenity, courage, and wisdom of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Let us be our prayer. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. With the praise of the Lord, we will sing. For our willing to the welcome of the Holy Church. Look, O Lord, upon the face of your Christ, who handed himself over as a ransom for all, so that through him, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name may be exalted among the nations, and in every place a single offering may be presented to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. 
And with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat>
at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us share a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a, a note, uh, next week I'm taking five days vacation, so there will be no morning mass Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 o'clock. Only Monday and Wednesday there will be an English Mass at 8. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son.
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Blessed those who find their strength in you, whose hearts are highways for your will, bringing joy to those around them. They go from strength to strength. Oh, how lovely is your dwelling place, dwelling of the Lord of hosts. How we long for your house, O Lord, singing out a song of joy to the living. 